Okay, I think I figured it out. I may may or may not have figured it out. Testing. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> All right. I apologize for the delay, everybody. And for those of you who are patient enough to wait around, I appreciate it. So, uh, <laughs> lesson learned. It's been a while since I've streamed, if you haven't noticed. So, uh, looks like a lot has changed since then. Um, looks like YouTube requires you to not only, uh, start your streaming software, but also go into their settings and click the go live button, which wasn't a thing until sometime between the last time I streamed and now, I guess. So, yeah, I apologize, guys. But here I am. For those of you who stuck around, I appreciate it. I know a lot of people got impatient, which I don't blame them. So anyway, um, we'll wait. We'll wait around for another like, I don't know, two or three minutes or so. Just ask a couple questions and Q and A's, whatever. Let me know if the music, the background music, is too loud. It's literally like the same song in a loop because I don't want to do anything that's not royalty free. <laughs> so give me like, give me like two seconds though. Um, I'll be right back a second. I appreciate the uh, donation, uh, Hodicus, right before I was about to stand up. <laughs> Have a drink, my dude. Question, do you plan on making a video about Axum? Not a ton of videos on the kingdom, and it bugs me. Um, there are actually quite a few videos on Ethiopia. i never seen one specifically about Axum, but Ethiopian history. Um, actually, I have something for you. Give it about three days, and there will be something for you. Quite a bit on Ethiopia actually coming up. But, yes, I do plan on doing videos on East Africa right now. I'm just trying to cover the bases on West African history. So, uh, But give me, like, one second. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back in, like, I know I just got everything working. But give me, like, literally 60 seconds. Okay, I'm back. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's been a while, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if my stream froze or what, okay, okay, it's just a huge delay. So, uh, joining me today, well, one of my, um, Oh no, is it? Oh, my internet might be acting up. Can can you hear me uh red? Okay. Looks like my internet could be breaking up right now. But anyway, um join me is uh Redwall, um aka uh well Trenton aka Redwall. He's uh he's the the cartographer for my mapping projects. All of those non blobby maps that you've been seeing. He's the reason why they're not blobby, so Give him a thanks, a special thanks, and a shout out, and any questions you have about that, feel free. Um, but before we do any of that, though, um, 
we're going to be talking about basically everything that hasn't been happening for the past few months because I've been working a terrible job and not having enough time to do anything. So yeah, let's uh let's get that going. So um hold on, let me catch up on the chat a bit. Loving the West Africa stuff, but I just find accent fascinating. I will, it was one of the most powerful states during its time, and it's such a pain finding anything about it specifically. I, I do mention Ethiopia, Axum specifically a few times, but Ethiopia in general, I do mention them um, quite a bit in a few of my videos. I just haven't done anything specifically covering them. Like in my Misconception series, I mentioned the churches of Lalibela, for example. I mentioned uh, Persian... Um, what was it um what was his name mani yeah prophet mani mentioned how axum was one of the most powerful states in the world in like only behind rome china and persia which is saying a lot i mean even though they're saying they're behind them that's that's the saying a lot the fact that they use them as an example so you know that's not something you see typical west african empire so yeah i know they're definitely a uh very interesting place it's just not my current level of expertise so um so yeah in, i'm sorry still more slight technical difficulties okay so anyway, um, back on topic, I just wanted to catch up on a few things um, that we haven't covered in the past few months. Um, I'll, I'll catch up on the questions later. So basically, for one, I'm really behind with patron requests. If you're a patron, shout out to my patrons for supporting my channel. My, my internet's acting up again. I'm really sorry, guys. Shout out to my patrons for supporting my channel, despite all of the BS and lack of uploading, lack of everything, just in general, lately. I appreciate all of that. It, it, can you guys still hear me? I'm, I'm uh, sorry if I keep asking this, but I'm looking at my chat and it says unable to connect. Chat, chat, please try again. So, I just want to know if I'm still connected. Yeah, I had to had to refresh the page. All right, testing, testing again. I'm I'm really sorry about this, guys. Okay. Yeah, I, I moved recently, so that's one thing I was gonna cover. I moved recently. I'm up in Ohio now. I was in Florida. Internet here is less than desirable. So every day there's usually a one or two points where it just completely drops on me or lags like crazy. So just want to make sure. I couldn't see you guys responding until I refreshed the page. So anyway, yeah. Um, recently, I uh, quit that job I was working because I it was a job. That's all. It wasn't a career. It wasn't a goal. It wasn't a dream. It was a job. That's all it was. And I didn't like that job. So I'm back back in school now. I'm doing something you know a little better, and I have a lot more free time. So I'm back. Patrons, again, I appreciate your support, regardless of. Everything that's been going on, the lack of time I've been spending here on YouTube or fulfilling your requests, I appreciate your continued support, and I will catch up on your your uh, requests. I promise. Um, so what one of the main th uh, reasons why I wanted to have this call was, for one, from nothing is getting a bit more. Uh, what's the word? We're trying to build a higher presence in the world of academia and and media. We want more people to see and hear and learn about African history and appreciate it and incorporate it more into mainstream media and education systems. And that's uh, something we've been trying to kind of delve more into with our mapping videos. Our, our most recent or our the two first ones we did, I wasn't an experienced mapper, so I'm not I'm not impressed by those videos. <laughs> um, however, uh, the, those two videos, as well as the preview I uploaded, I'd, I'd notice have gotten very low view counts. 
compared to literally anything else I've uploaded. They've gotten just depressingly low view counts. And I'm just wondering, like, I'm not, I know not everybody's a fan of mapping videos. Mapping videos can get dull and boring. I get it. You know, there's times where, like, you're just sitting there 200 years later, nothing's changed. Like, I get it. And I, I get that. I get that. That's why I, uh, tried to incorporate, or we and tried to incorporate more excitement, more events, more battles, so on and so forth. But even still, the teaser is barely at a thousand views after like three days when literally anything else I've uploaded usually hits a thousand within like 12 hours. So I'm just wondering, uh, what could we do to make them more entertaining? That's, that's the first thing I'm wondering. What can we do to make them more entertaining? What's up, uh, Crusader? How you doing? So you're doing a video on traditional attire that different ethnic groups wore in Africa. Yeah, there's there's no shortage of content for African history. That's for sure. Can honestly say you've done that for me at least because of this channel. I made an empire in a new setting based on Axum, and it's made me want to dig more into Africa. Well, I'm glad to hear that because that's that's what I want. I want Africa to actually be a factor in regards to education and media. I think that's what we ultimately want collectively. Because I'm not here to make Africa out to be this utopia and the best thing ever and blah, blah, blah. I'm not one of those guys. I just, we just want African history in addition to the human history in general. But obviously I'm biased because of my ethnic background. We want African history to be appreciated and respected and presented along with the beauty of all of mankind's history. And currently it's not, unfortunately. So. Yes, uh, so Redwald, uh, like I said, he's here with me in chat. If you have any uh, questions for him, feel free to ask. He's the one who designed the, the awesome base maps and the non lobby borders. Uh. <laughs> so uh the as you said the map is done the you'll see i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil too much of it but um yeah this map i'm gonna say it confidently with the least amount of bragging as possible with the least amount of boasting as possible i mean this in the least arrogant way possible more specifically it will probably be the most detailed mapping video you have ever seen on youtube if you watch any mapping videos from any mapper, it will be the most detailed you've ever seen. Like, that's me not bragging, that's just me being honest. Um, and, you know, it's, it's... It's just simply because I feel like mapping videos, though I've enjoyed them for years, some they always... They always tend to leave some... Like, leave you feeling like you need more, like... Why did that territory get conquered? Why did they lose that territory? Why did the borders stop right there? You know, all these question marks I had when watching uh, mapping videos, I wanted to solve them for myself when I map African empires. So that was the whole premise of that. Hey, Jabari, what's up? Have you dealt with African writing systems yet? These trolls are getting on my nerves. Yes, I have actually. In uh, Misconceptions episode three, I think it was episode three. Check out my Misconception Episode 3. I did talk on that. I haven't done a video exclusive to writing yet, if that's what you're asking. No. But I have mentioned writing in that episode and a few others briefly. Um, actually, this mapping video covers, in one of the events in the 1330s, Mansa Musa. I'll give you guys a little little teaser. Mansa Musa actually brought the Sankore University of Timbuktu to a educational hub for the Islamic world. It had over 700,000 books and 25,000 students in the 1330s. Like its libraries rivaled those of Alexandria. So yeah, that's one of many events you'll see in that video if you watch that whenever it comes out. So uh, let's see, are, are there gonna be any sites you have for sources? Yes, we plan on making a full on professionally cited bibliography in APA format, PDF form. We will have sources cited for viewers, but the one on the PD in the PDF form and APA will probably just for the not to be uh, not to be, you know, greedy or unfair, but 
these projects are not easy and they're not free. Like I, it literally costs me money to make these projects. It costs us money to make these projects. So, um, in order to get the PDF, we're going to try to release the content on a USB flash drive, um, with, a, along with the PDF and some, uh, raw slides just to kind of optionally, obviously the video will be free either way, whether, you're, whether you want to buy that flash drive or not, you will be able to watch the video and enjoy it and have access to the sources for free. So we're not going to take that away from you. We're not going to, we're not just in this for profit. We want everybody to learn and know things about this stuff. So, um, what else? What other questions did I miss? Feel free to ask your question again. If I didn't answer, I'm not going to, not going to have any sour feelings towards that. If I did, if I missed it, just ask it again. Um, so next up, the past two mapping videos on, uh, I just want to cover those there. They have a lot of inaccuracies, despite the fact that they may have looked a lot better than any other mapping videos you've seen on those regions of the world. Again, not boasting, just being real. When people make mapping videos for Africa, they don't really care. There hasn't been anyone who had any kind of passion or affinity for African history who has made one. It's really, the, that's really the only simple fact behind it. So, um, the past couple of videos, though they were probably more accurate than any previous uh, mapping videos on Africa, they still were very inaccurate. <laughs> and we've, they were a learning experience for us, frankly. They were a learning experience, so much so that after the release of this current video, we're going to redo those. We're going to revamp them with our updated knowledge and updated skills. I gotta say, you do a great job on history. Thanks, uh, Green One Hundred One. I appreciate that. I try. I'm not the smart. I'm not the smartest person in the world. I get things wrong sometimes, but I do my best. So that'll be a great ex expose some of the people to an interesting little section of the world. Yeah, exactly. It's like, don't you worry. That's that's what we're. That's that's our ultimate goal. We're going to get there at some point. Um. Anyway, so. Let's just have a uh, Redwall. Uh, first name, his real name's Trenton. Redwall is his uh, alias online. So, uh, whatever you prefer or whatever he prefers, he's gonna kind of walk you through how he um, maps, how he determines, dictates borders and things like that of the countries and the kingdoms to make them not blobby. And I can confidently say he knows more about the stuff than I do, just so you guys know. So you you still yep. So you you want to let them know how you how exactly you walk through the uh, the borders and stuff like that. I do. Um, give me a second. I mean, you can go ahead and start explaining a little bit, but what, what, which one would you like me to bring up though? Just the, uh, the, uh, the states. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Yeah, it is. It's just my internet sucks. So, um, I, there, there's a minimal delay option and I didn't want to risk choosing that one. And it just lags like crazy the whole time. Gonna try to get it figured out at some point. Seems to have misplaced that map because I got so much other crap in here, but should be in the drive, right? So I'll check that.
Sorry guys, give me one second, just trying to bring the stuff up. Feel free to ask your questions. Uh, Yeah, and that's when the the blobbiness comes in in those situations. But fortunately, the, that's very minimal. That's typically along the lines of the areas wrong along the uh, Sahara Desert. Yeah. All right. So I think I finally got it up. Sorry for the delay. It's like if you guys understood how much stuff. Like how much stuff went into this, you would understand why it took so long to bring this up. So, anyway, let me go ahead and uh, turn on this layer and let you guys take a look at it. So, uh, oh, whoops. Uh, try now. Try talking. How's that? I, yeah, my my volume somehow got muted. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> Can you guys hear him now? The map right now only includes West Africa. It doesn't really include the Lake Chad region. Okay, so um, here's the uh, the. Oh, no, that's definitely not it. Not even close. Sorry about the delay again. So yeah, here is what we have in the editing program because I can't find the actual image what we have for the the map so through tons of research as he explained I'm not sure how much of that you guys heard because of my uh, technical difficulties but the what you see right now for the all these borders and everything were done through literally several months of research on where people like where the certain ethnic groups resided throughout most of history obviously there are migrations and things like that but um, mountains rivers just like so many things were factored in I could you can see my messy layers area these are all actually like folders I could turn on the rivers right now so we have rivers as one di thing to dictate them uh, mountains don't use these take these mountains with a grain of salt because they've been updated since then but mountains rivers uh, ethnic groups, ethnic tensions, rivalries, deserts, dry periods, what like so many things have been factored in. Archaeological sites have been used to determine these borders. And we use all these as basic foundational units for 
how we, uh, or more specifically, how he dictated the borders for the projects. So. Obviously, there's a great deal of ambiguity in some of them. <clears throat> yeah. It's very hard to get exacts, especially with a lot of them. And there's some that are later than others, that are bigger. Really depends on the specific area you're talking about. Had this thing stuff all backwards. Apologizing again for like the tenth time. Just all this stuff's a mess. I need to really organize it. Time period is about thirteen fifty is when a lot of the reference map stuff is taken from. But really, between thirteen fifty and like sixteen hundred is where stuff is. And there's some stuff that's a bit anachronistic. It really depends. Yep. Yeah. The the video vaguely is between the years of um of two hundred BCE and nineteen oh one, but what we have what our like our firm focal point is between the years of nine eighty and sixteen seventy. So now all these are perfectly lined up with what was going on because it was a very fluid thing. It wasn't very static at all. The peoples, the movements, the climate, everything was changing a lot. So, Yep, some of those areas are just ethnic groups. Some of them are provincial borders. Some of them are kingdoms. And that's one thing. People tend to look at African history as like a ambiguous thing like oh they're blobby because Africans didn't really know borders or think of borders the same way Europeans did it's not the case at all in reality Europeans people in general throughout the, the medieval world looked at borders that way like th the whole concept of a nation state with hard defined borders based on like GPS satellite data not even GPS satellite but just the whole concept of having a hard defined border is a relatively modern concept the only problem is just not as nearly as much research or care has been put into the African continent. And that's the reason why borders seem to be there, why they tend to be a lot more blobby in regards to African history. So. And uh, one question, the map, how long's that taken? It's been probably at various points, been working on it for about a year. Sometimes it's faster than others. Sometimes you have to reach kind of a critical mass of research. Yeah, it's uh it's been an ongoing thing, that's for sure. Um it's it's something that just kind of progressed over time versus we just kind of sat down and did it one day because it unfortunately it's just not how it works. It's going to take time. It's going to take sitting down for several hours multiple times throughout months because you can't just go to the library and check out something about like how you can go to the library and check out something about um Napoleon from France and learn everything you need to know from that one book. You you can't really do that with African history because it's just it's spread all over the place. You have to use like ten plus books just to learn about one region throughout one period of Africa, basically. So that's what makes it take so long, unfortunately. And part of the goal of From Nothing is to consolidate information to the point where you can just check out one book on Mansa Musa, for example, and learn everything you need to know about him. Man, if only I can find maps like that, the one on the screen when I make, yeah, exactly. That's my, like, that's, that's my point. Like we're, we want to do that. We want to make that available for people. We want people, we want creators to, or, uh, scholars to be able to just go to one spot and be like, oh, wow, that's, that's all I need, you know, versus check out that book, this book, that book, all these books. And, and then maybe have enough kind of, sort of for their project. You upgraded, man? What do you mean I upgraded? How did I upgrade? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while, uh, Kays. Did you uh, drop out of Discord or what, what happened with that? West Africa, best Africa. <laughs> I can tell by your, your username. By the way, Emperor Tiger Star, if you uh i'm sure most of you guys if you're fans of mapping videos you already know who he is 
Uh, he's also he's actually wor working on a history of West Africa map, so you should keep your eye for that one as well. Did you find your tribe? Uh, I wouldn't say all that. I did take a DNA test. If you check out my uh, How African or African Americans video, I did narrow it down to the basic countries and regions of Africa. But I can't say I found my specific ethnic group by any means. But for the most part, I'm of Bantu origin. Most of my ancestry, like 37% is like Bantu, and the rest is all various parts of West Africa. And then a little bit of European. Like... 8% or was it 8 I think it was 8% European or no it's 6% European what are you studying I'm studying networking and cybersecurity. it's more up my alley because I'm a nerd and I like computers so that's where I'm at right now yep I am in graduate school for underwater archaeology Yes, uh, Trenton is a full-blown archaeologist, so what you see is what he learned as an archaeologist and as a one that, who has not only, who is not only qualified to be an archaeologist, but someone who's continuing his education in that field and learning all the necessary software and just overall processes involved with dictating you know, historical borders, civilizations, so on and so forth. Some of these, for example, some of these cities that we show in our mapping video don't even exist anymore. And his uh, his knowledge of archaeological data of those regions is what we're relying on versus just guessing or just drawing a blob and calling it a day. So you guys are going to get, you're going to be getting the best of the best when it, in regards to African history when you see these mapping videos. But there's always more to do, more to uncover. There, there, there is. There's definitely more to do. But as of what we have right now, you will be getting the best. When I worked on Southern Africa, the way I was able to get defined borders for pre-colonial stuff was because colonization was so gradual that in many cases they did one tribe or nation at a time. Ah, yeah, I was actually wondering how you did that because your borders looked very precise. Like you, they weren't blobby at all. I didn't know if you just kind of like guessed them or like, I didn't know what you did, but that's, that's pretty cool that you paid that much attention to the detail of it. Are you going to do a video one day of the OU empire? Yeah, most likely. Um, we do plan on kind of gradually working our way down to the force kingdoms. This project is going to be very slow and gradual. If you couldn't tell by what we said before. And right now we're up in the Sahel. Um, we were going to just kind of slowly but surely branch our way out of the Sahel little by little. But instead, we're, we're probably just going to touch on, you know, piece by piece, whatever, whatever, you know, we want or whatever the community wants. We're just going to touch on bits and pieces of the Sahel little by little or sorry, of the West Africa little by little until eventually we map out the entirety of West Africa and then move on to the, the next region and long term map out the entire continent that's our ultimate goal and it's it's not gonna be fast so don't think this is gonna happen like next year because it's not but you know you guys supporting us is just gonna make us keep growing and keep keep growing and growing and pro progressing so we appreciate that and so that served as a template working backwards from 1850 yeah, I never heard of anybody working backwards like that before. I mean, it seems I would be, my anxiety levels would be like through the roof if I did that, but I can understand why you would want to do it because we know more about the recent history than the past. So if you work backwards and you can kind of, you know what's going on today and you gradually lose grasp of what's going on in the past. So working backwards seems like a logical way to do it, but I personally just my mind just like this is the way you're supposed to do it so do it that way <laughs> you know so do the Namink Minka Songhai War or do the Mandinka Songhai War sorry I don't know how I read that as Namika. Uh, you mean the Mali Mali Songhai Wars plural because there was lots of them if that's what you're asking 
what do you all think of the Historum Forum? I, before From Nothing was even a thing, I've been banned from that forum several times. Um, and the community was not very happy because, like, I was always putting something interesting in there for them. And they, you know, I contacted some of them offline. They said that the community there was kind of biased. Uh, which kind of explains the fact that they have all these different categories for European history and then just one collective African slash Middle Eastern category. They said the community was kind of biased and, you know, I got banned because at the time I was trying to do an animation and I was recruiting. I didn't know those was against the rules, my own fault for not knowing, but I uh, was trying to recruit and it was a no-no and I got banned. I submitted an appeal to one of the uh, admins, let them know I didn't know, I know that's not an excuse, but I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. No reply. Made a new account, different name. Um, I think I posted one of my videos or something at one point, and they realized it was me, banned me again, no word. They, they were just dead, to un like they, I feel like they uh, have a very, 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 either very strict policy or a very strong bias against African history. That's, that's my, my, my two guesses with that. So anyway, I'm, I'm done with this storm. Um, which by the way, part of the stream, um, which I will follow up with later from nothing.info has forums from nothing.info. Go to that website. There's a forum there. It's very dead right now. I'm not going to pretend like it's not. I set up about a year ago. I want it to be alive. I want it to replace Historum. I want African historian or history uh, enthusiasts to go to from nothing for their African history because it's that's what it's about, you know. And it's dead because it's simply put, it's not known, you know, it's not out there. I do have plans to kind of uh reboot it but for those of you who are watching right now if you want to be part of a community like that go for it go there ask questions submit you know our discord community over 400 members by the way is also accessible through that site or through the uh, link in the description of most of my videos um go to that website post questions answer questions whatever is your forte make pitch pictures videos whatever from nothing info slash forums and I will also have rewards for people who are active in those forums, by the way. I'm not going to tell you what they are or when they're going to happen, but there will be rewards for people who are active in those forums. <clears throat> so, yeah. In other words, Historum pushes it aside. It's, it's not for us. They don't want us there. So, it's really that simple. Will you ever be a historian or just stay an African history buff? Uh... That's a very tough question. I mean, wh where do you draw the line between buff and historian? But at this point, I'm definitely just a buff. I'm definitely just interested in it. Uh, the majority of my videos I do, I don't really know that much until I actually start making the video. Because I'm researching it as I go. That's why, that's another one of the reasons why it takes me so long. That's one of the reasons why I'm not like, hey guys, subscribe to me, I upload a new video every three days. You know, that's why I'm not one of those guys, because I'm having to research things and edit things. Because I'm learning as I go. I wish I could upload every day. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I can't, so. <clears throat> Should I doing one of... My move was make a new account and rejoin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I did that probably about three times. Um, on a storm. But I didn't do it to, uh, you know, break the rules or anything. I did it as a means to try to get a chance. Like, try to give a chance for the administrators to see, like, hey, look. I did something wrong. I didn't know at the time. But I apologize and I won't do it again. That That's why I did it. But the simple fact that I was me is why they rebanned me. And Liquid's back. I really appreciate the uh, donation. By the way, thank you so much. 
Any plans to cover the Crusader era Kingdom of Makuria? Yes, I actually did plan on making a video on, you know, the, the Kingdom of Makuria because they, you know, in simplest terms, were badasses. Like, they were awesome archers. They kept the Arabs out. Egypt came to the Arabs, which Egypt overshadows African history in, like, every way, shape, or form. And they came to the, uh, the Arabs. But Mercuria fought them off twice. Not once, but twice. So, definitely something I wanted to touch on. I just haven't gotten there yet. Because, like I said, I'm trying to put most of my emphasis on West Africa at the moment. And kind of branch out. Occasionally, I might do a place here or there. I mean, you've seen... If you've been subscribed to me a while, you'll see occasionally I'll just randomly touch on a Southern, Africa place, Southern African place or Swahili or something. But, just not there yet. There aren't really good, many good jobs out there for history majors. There aren't. It's a very niche field. History, most people think of some old, gray-haired white dude sitting in a chair behind a bookcase reading about the British con British colonization, colonization of the Americas or something, you know? Like, that it's... most History is usually put in that box. You know? Not trying to criticize white people, obviously. I'm just saying that's usually the image. If you put a black person in the context of history, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the same similar scenario. If you put a black person in the history of the context of history, it's either a Kang who's making up stuff, or it's a guy who's demanding or complaining in general about slavery and segregation and all that stuff. So, in general, history is inherently unfortunately a very niche not only niche but uh political and um what's the word controversial topic if someone sees my face my not twice face talking about history of my people instantly bad feelings bad thoughts bad intentions that's just how it is unfortunately hopefully it'll change but that's how it is right now have you seen extra credits or videos on the West African mythology? I did see one of his videos on that, yes. I'm not sure how many he had, but I definitely watched one of them, and it was actually very good. Same with his uh, series on Mansa Musa, or sorry, uh, the, the Mali Empire, specifically. I watched the whole thing, and it was actually very good. What's happening with your Warrior series? I just rec recently uploaded loaded a video on the Warriors series. If you haven't seen it, it's my most recent video, besides my teaser. If you take African ancestry, they can narrow down the tribes you come from. Uh, I haven't taken that one yet. I plan to, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I have something else in the works. I'm not going to reveal exactly what it is yet. And uh, Trent here is involved with that, which I need to talk to him about later, to be honest. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I have something that works with that before I try using any other African history things so what else are we covering today there's something else on the session so let me go ahead and turn off this uh display then because i'm sure you guys seen what you need to see so um Trent, is there anything you wanted to say? Um, not super particularly. If anyone has any questions. All right. Yeah, guys, seriously, feel free to ask him any question. This guy knows more about African history than anyone I've met ever. So feel free to ask him literally anything. More specifically, West African history, though. How, you know what? How about this? How about, Trent, you give them, you let them know. Let them know how you got interested in African history. Just the whole process. Give them a brief summary of it all. How about that? So, initially, I was working on uh, EU4 mod, uh, the main mod. And I was like, eh, 
West Africa or Africa in general could lose looked at. So I started doing research there. Ended up focusing a lot on Senegal region and just started using some of the mapping skills in GIS I have. Started building a map for that. Started doing more and more research. Eventually I posted in the comments of one of the African mapping videos and, and talked to Jabari there. Then I ended up on this project and then I've becoming more and more involved in that over time. Moving away from the more game aspect to the more strictly history aspect. And of course now I've I'm a I have a, a BA in anthropology, so I use that a lot, but I'm specifically doing right now uh, graduate school for maritime studies, just underwater archaeology, and I'm doing research and work on West Africa. That's where I am right now. Also, one thing to point out is um, <clears throat> I literally, literally met him through, um, for you mapper fans out there, Jake Mapping, through his comment section. Um, Jake Mapping's video, though it was a great and noble attempt, it had a lot of inaccuracies. It was very blobby. It's that simple. Very blobby kingdoms. Um, a lot of detail, but just blobby as all hell, and a lot of inaccuracies. Um, this guy, <laughs> Trent, is the master at identifying inaccuracies. <laughs> so he uh, pointed, he gave his two cents, and posted his map of the Senegambian region. I was impressed. My YouTube, or sorry, my Discord was still in its relative in infancy at the time. I mean, it was, it was kind of going, but, you know, it wasn't as big as it is. Which, by the way, if you want to, uh, I'm not sure if my com commands still work. Let's see, this uh, exclamation point Discord. Yeah, my commands don't work anymore. But if you want to uh, join my Discord, you can access it through my profile, my channel. Um, anyway, uh, I invited him here because... At the time, like my relative small Discord, like anytime I saw people with genuine passions or affinities for African history, I wanted them as part of the community, and he was one of those people. So, but anyway, um, yeah, this Discord has over four hundred members. If you want to join, go for it. Be sure to follow all the instructions the bot gives you. Otherwise, you can't talk. I'm sure, you can imagine with the African history Discord, there are trolls. So we want to put up our defenses as much as we can. Defend the empire from nothing, from uh, the attackers. It's that simple. Um, yeah, Dar Tichet. Yeah, Dar Tichet. A lot of people like to attribute it to Berbers, which may very well be true. I don't know. You know, we don't know. There's not enough demand for that kind of research right now. But one thing I will say is the Sahara was a lot more north than it is today um there are a lot of sites that are farther north today and attributed to sudanic peoples than uh berber peoples because of the um sahel so the narticit could are like a lot of uh modern archaeologists do attribute it to being founded by the Seninka peoples but it's one of those kind of ambiguous things that you just don't really know for sure so you don't really want to make a bold claim about it but in general, that region of Africa for the majority of history, and pre including present, has been dominated by Sudanic peoples. So, you know, it's a, it's a safe inference that was founded by Sanike, but we don't know. It's, it's kind of one of those whole, was Egypt black or white th situations, you know. <laughs> Me personally, I don't think they were black or white. They were brown. And kind of had a little bit of both, but we'll talk about that later. Not gonna, not gonna, not even gonna dig deeper into that rabbit hole because that's just uh, asking for disaster. <laughs> but yeah, have you been traveling lately? I have not. I went to Orlando, or sorry, Ohio, in June, and that's it. <laughs> and that's where I'm living right now. People study love slave trade. People that study the slave trade. Or the history of the institution of in the U.S. are 
not inherently complainers, as you suggest, still a fan though. I'm not saying they're complainers. Don't get me wrong. History or uh, slavery was terrible. Do not condone it whatsoever. It was awful. It was a terrible part of my history. Not yours, not his, not hers, all of our history. It was terrible. But I just think it's bad, a bad practice for a little small black kid to grow up in a classroom and all they know about the history of the people who are the same color as them is that they were slaves. And then after that, they got freed by Martin Luther King, who got shot and killed, by the way. Because, you know, that's that's also inspirational. And that's it. And now they're poor and commit a lot of crime in the end. You know, like, that's that sucks. So, it, it's like, it's important for us to know. But if that's all we know, it sucks. It, it will literally brainwash children. It'll, like, I'm not even, I'm not, I know it sounds extreme, but it will literally brainwash, like, most of my life, I thought lesser of myself. I thought lesser of my people. Until I got older and more mature and did more research and learned and educated myself. You know, it's, it's like, you know all this stuff. It's, I'm glad I know all this stuff, but I should know more. You know, I should know, oh, by the way, the richest guy in history was black, by the way. You know, oh, by the way, there were uh, the earliest indigenous C-sections outside of modern Western C-sections were by black people, just so you know. We, we should learn that stuff, too, but we don't. So that that's my whole thing with that. Because as of right now, 90% of the people in the U.S., 90% of black or white, all they know is that black people were these tribal savages in Africa who were kidnapped and brought to the Americas and enslaved and then after they got slaved they got treated like complete doo-doo for several years you know like several decades so that that's that's why I say complainers because complaining about that history is one thing teaching about it is another but if you teach about it and then teach about what the context of it what we can do to do better, or what we can what we can do to do better, and also what happened before that, the great things that happened before that are also equally as important. And unfortunately, we don't do those. We just teach about what happened, and that sucks. By the way, any moderators in the chat, if you see any messages that get blocked for uh, approval, please be sure to review those. Um. I'm going to try to do this more regularly and I will be assigning more moderators. So, um, just if I notice you're consistently here, you're active and you're on, you're on good behavior, you will be, um, eligible to be a moderator if you so choose to. So looks like we don't have very many moderators here today. We're lucky if we have even one moderator today, to be honest. And that that's Trent who is currently in the the chat with us so yep i saw a commercial showing a poor malnutrition african child and telling me i could feed him for 80 cents a day yeah that's what i'm saying like it's a noble cause i'm glad they're trying to help these children in africa i want those children to have good lives and not die you know i want that but if 90% of what we think of our our people outside of the Americas is that, if that's what we hear, see 90% of the time, children are going to grow up, with myself included, grow up thinking, what did we even do besides invent peanut butter, you know? like, <laughs> and, and it's sad. It's a very sad. And from nothing, collectively, our intent is to change that that's not our only intent we have several other intents that kind of tie into that but that's one of our intentions so anyway uh we kind of went off topic um what were we on next uh let's see so back on the mapping thing 
back on the mapping uh, example, um, I think my internet might have froze again. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, it was uh, Liquid Bax $5 notation that froze my internet. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Detail records of Ghana, Mali, and Songhai, or Songhai battles, army tactics, and battle. You will be seeing that in our next video, which will be coming out within the next week. I promise. Within the next three days. Uh, you know, hopefully, preferably, because it's part of a it's part of a big collaboration of African history. Um, which I'm just gonna warn you guys ahead of time: the majority of the people in that collaboration are not African historians. They have their own niches, which is fine. I'm not criticizing them. Don't think I am. They can do what they want. They can appreciate their people the way they want. But the majority of the collaborators of that project are not African historians. And thus, the majority of the topics, not all, but the majority are not very enthusiastic or interested in African history. That's, that's just my personal opinion. I've expressed it to them, so I'm not talking about their backs or anything. I'm live streaming, <laughs> you know, for God's sake, so... Uh, you may not be happy with all the topics, but it's it's a it's a noble effort, and I appreciate it, and that's why I'm part of it um, to promote African history. So, anyway, off of that, uh, yes, they uh, that that's going to be uh, what the new mapping project is going to be part of, and it will be taking place hopefully before the end of Sunday is our target date. The target date is the is Saturday. We may have some delays that take us back to Sunday, so we'll see. Do people of today's Africa know about their past? I feel like most of the educated ones do. Yes, I would say so. The ones who live in metropolitan areas probably do. I would like to think so. Not every country, obviously. They all have their own standards of education. Some are modeled specifically off their colonial infrastructure, but... Nigeria, for example, I feel like Nigerians are fairly well versed on their, their history, for example. And you'll find that out soon as well from a podcast that you might be seeing from uh, from Nothing as well. Wasn't there a forum for From Nothing? Yes, uh, Inky, I'm not sure if you joined late, but there is a forum for From Nothing. It's dead currently. Nobody ever posts in it. Never, nobody ever talks in it. it. It started off with noble intentions, but it just didn't really take off. My channel was much smaller back then. I didn't do as much as I could to promote it. I plan on changing that in the near future. But before the near future, if you're here right now, go to fromnothing.info slash forums. Make some posts, answer some questions, do whatever. And do your part to help out if you want to make sure there is an active African history forums because that's where you'll find it. Are griots still a thing? Yes, they are. Not much outside of Africa because we live in a society of written history, written culture. If it's not written, it's not really valid in the way our society works today. I mean, written languages and scripts are they are the standard. They're the most accurate and static things that we can rely on as being accurate. So, yeah. Griots are really more of a cultural thing rather than a societal thing so um where are we at now give me a second i'm sorry there's a lot of things i want to cover but you guys questions kind of <laughs> kind of get me off off track so i feel like a college professor or something so um as far as battles and stuff, like I said, yes, that that project I told you about, you will see. You won't see all of the battles, but you will see a lot of battles. You will see the point where you think you will think we showed all the battles. You won't even see like half of them because there's so many. But that video, every time a battle takes place, um, actually, uh, if you don't mind, Trent, if you can send the, them the teaser if they haven't seen it. Yep. That video will show battles. It will show raids. It will show. It will show events. 
like significant events like Matsumoto's Moses Hodge, for example. It will show war events and describe them. And it will give you a little animated display of like two swords crossing of exactly where the battle was or the approximate location of the battle. So yeah, you will get a lot of information on that. All right, so at this point, what else, what more do we need to come? Oh yeah, so uh, anyway, back to the original topic of mapping videos about what will make them more entertaining. As I said, the Mali video, the Songhai video, and this current trailer have had absolutely abysmal views. Like, like whoa, like was the video that bad? Like that kind of views, like. Barely a thousand after a few days when I normally get a thousand within like half a day. And I'm, so my question is, what is it about the videos? Is it something you just not like mapping videos at all? Or is it just, or is it something I could make better? Or as one user said, that I forget his name, um, YouTube algorithms. Like, I don't know. Either way, I want, to, I want these mapping videos to be more, uh, appealing to the audience so any suggestions you have we'll, we'll greatly appreciate them because we want if, or if we're going to present history especially African history we want the user to enjoy what they're seeing so trailers always get fewer viewers there's nothing to worry about yeah I mean but Ali Bai I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is as well um you are a mapper. That's that's what you do. That's all you do. You're a mapper. So if they see a trailer of one of your mapping videos, which is what you do, I can understand. But I don't. I'm not a mapper. I do mapping videos, but I'm not a mapper. I, I'm. I mostly do mini documentary videos. So I feel like. And by the way, the official videos get lesser views too. The official fully released videos get less views too. So it's not just the trailers. So I'm I'm just wondering if there's something inherently wrong with these types of videos. So yeah. Let's see the detail accounts about the daily lives of the living kingdom of the lives of people living in kingdoms like Ashanti Benin Oyo. Uh I'm sure there are, but I haven't we haven't we haven't explored that area intensively enough. We will, just not at that point yet. Um, what else? YouTube is run artificial or algorithms. I kind of believe it. I mean, despite the fact that I don't believe like 99% of what you say is hearty, <laughs> I kind of believe it because they've demonetized some of my stuff that had no reasons, even after appeals. So, thumbnail yeah. needs to be more appealing. How would you suggest Ghost Hero? How would you recommend I make it more appealing? Make a second video with the narration and breakdown. We have plans on things like that, Inky. Hopefully I said your name right. Are you doing any collab with any other history channel? Yes, we will after this. Uh, currently we're collaborating with 20 plus history channels at, as we speak. And it will be, that's the one we were saying will be released within the next week. Um, after that, we also plan on doing some, some duo collaborations. Because some of the some of the channels in there, they uh, this collaboration got them more interested in African history. Let me put it that way, and they want to do more African history videos, so they want to collaborate with an African history channel. What better way, you know? So those will be coming soon. Generally, people want to want what they subscribed for, which is, in your opinion, non mapping stuff. Yeah, that's definitely a good assessment definitely I would definitely look at that as a possible reason I think it's regular videos have more information to give I agree with that as well I think people prefer the mini documentaries to maps kind of ties in with the same thing that Corinton Bellinger said yeah I agree with that yeah uh, welcome uh, Titan Tribble another member of the team from nothing that helps with the mapping videos he is a uh, awesome researcher, uh, despite his relative inconsistency at times. 
he is an awesome researcher. Uh, a lot of what we know about Mali's southern trade routes to the Force Kingdoms that you see that that river down the, Bolt, the Black Volta that you never seen in any uh, Mali map, that's all him. You know, give him credit for that because we probably wouldn't have even thought to look there if it weren't for him. And then as well as uh, a lot of what the research we got from the Songhai Empire as well. So people respond more by people explaining it. A lot of us would love to. Be guided by a narrator versus reading it I understand I completely agree with that and that's kind of why like mapping in general is not something that works that way mapping videos don't work that way it's usually some text no audio you read the text if you want to you watch the video there may or may not be a long boring period when nothing happens and then you know you finish you continue with your day like that's how mapping videos work so we wanted to try to change that by giving as much detail as possible, as well as intros and outros that have voiceovers. But I feel like all that in between where there is no voiceover, yeah, that I could see that being a problem. So we're doing our best to just make the map mapping in general, we're doing our best to make mapping videos more engaging because this mapping as a whole typically relies on text and images like just stuff you stare at you know, nothing you hear nothing you pause and go back and look at and just look at it you know so we're, we're we've been trying to do that and we hope that we can maybe at least get enough viewers to where they want to watch it and kind of absorb that rather than like oh it's mapping video i don't even want to look at it at all just don't even bother like we, we want people that at least like kind of just look at it and see where it goes hopefully and any any recommendations for that to facilitate that process in the future would be greatly appreciated who was the most important pre-colonial sub-saharan african it's a very 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 vague question very broad question <laughs> because that can be divided into eight thousand categories all right, what else? Um, what relations between Africa and Soviet U Union, good or bad? Well, you should already know by now, Crusader. I don't focus on modern African history as much. I focus more on pre-colonial. So maybe at some point I'll touch more on modern, but pre-colonial is my, my uh, forte at this moment. And even that needs some work. Maybe more clickbaity. <laughs> how, how would I make it more clickbaity? If it's deceivingly click clickbaity, not happening. If it's clickbaity as in like you go there and you see it and it's kind of sort of what you expected, but not 100%, but it's still there, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Uh. So, uh. Yeah, other than that, guys, um, not sure how many of you guys are following. Actually, uh, give me a give me a thumbs up in the chat if if the emojis allow you to do so. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if uh, you if you've uh, actually been following like the from nothing social media like you you've been following what i've been posting what what our goals are so on and so forth give me a thumbs up just to give me a good basis i mean there's 32 people watching which isn't like the most accurate survey but it'll it'll be decent guidance at the very least if you've been following like what our plans are what we want to do blah 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 you know Discord community, Twitter, whatever. Facebook. You would like to, Mansa Musa? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not calling people at, uh, even Falun. I'm not calling people out for who don't. Don't get me wrong. It's it's all up to the individual. If you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. If you like it, but just not enough to do that. Cool. No big deal. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Either way. Like that's that's the way I see it. But if you do, yeah. I just wanted to get a decent survey of it. Um, basically, I just want to know. Uh, I, I think it's good because those who are committed to viewing, looking at this channel and following the content, I want your feedback and I want you to kind of drive this channel. I don't have Instagram, Matsumusa, but I do have Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, and my own website. So. If any of those would uh, be suitable for, suitable for you, they're all available. Pretty much any video you watch of mine has a link to it, so in the description. But yeah, other than that, guys, uh, um, I just wanted to touch more about the project that's coming up. After that, you know, that's that's all I got to talk about. Um, the, the project that's coming up, we plan on releasing a, uh, a USB flash drive that has the, pl the project in 4K resolution without all the clutter at the beginning of the end because there will be some stuff about the collaboration, blah, 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 blah. That'll all be cut out. The 4K resolution project will be on a USB drive as well as a, uh, a bibliography in APA format of all our sources so if you want to look back verify or learn more all the sources will be there this is probably gonna be like two pages of sources I'm not, not even gonna lie there's gonna be like two pages of sources that we use for that video because it, it was it was immense <laughs> um we'll also give you a from nothing logo sticker five by five put it on your laptop your computer your desk your car whatever five by five about this big you know for the from from the logo, I know I know from nothing isn't something you want to rock like Nike or Adidas. I get it, <laughs> you know. If you don't want to do that, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, you know. Uh, it'll come with that as well, and as well as some still frames of of uh, century by century um, frames of the the um, empires. So we're gonna be releasing that um, in the near future uh, with the project. So. That's also available on from the thing that info slash market, which you can also access through the link that Red Wall just uh, linked. You can you can go there, go to the announcements, and you'll see the link for the, for the market there. You put the sticker on your head, triple. <laughs> nice. So yeah, we'll have things like that, um, all available. Um, it's again, as I said at the beginning of the stream, it's all totally optional. It's just to support the channel. That's it. We, we don't want to be the guys like, oh yeah, you want this, you want to learn about African history? Well, sorry, you got to pay, you know, give us some money, you know, we're not going to be those people. Like we want to be free. We want to be easy to access, but if you want to support us, you can. And if you do, we'll give you a little bit extra. You'll still get the basic stuff. You'll still get... Not even basic. You will still get the stuff in general. Not even basic stuff. Just stuff in general. You'll get it. You'll get sources. You'll get content. You'll get all the hard work, all the hard effort, all the money spent. You'll get all that. But if you want more than that, slash want to just help us make it better, you can support us on the market or Patreon. It's really that simple. So, anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Um... We're gonna end the stream now. The mapping video will be out in a few days. I'll try my very best to stream more re or more regularly. My schedule is a lot more consistent. I have a lot more free time, so I'll try to stream at the very least once a month. But thanks you guys for thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the good feedback. Everything, I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.